my god oh my gosh that's why you should never do this except her lashes came out because of this hello welcome back to another mascara showdown video the purpose of this series is for me to try out different mascaras on the market on my hopeless asian eyes so you don't have to yourself i'm gonna be doing a 10 hour wear test on the bobbi brown smoky eye mascara and the urban decay perversion mascara which i got and tried out in the previous video so here's the mascara it is in this matte finished component that is much shorter than the urban decay perversion mascara you see how small the wand is and this one claims for six milliliters whereas this one claims for 12 milliliters and the wand is also much smaller in the bobby brown I mentioned this in every single video, so I'm sorry if you're a returning subscriber, but my favorite mascara of all time is the Kiss Me Waterproof Mascara from Japan. And this one has a pretty similar wand size. Okay, so just a little bit about this mascara here. It is a coal pigmented mascara, so K-O-H-L, coal pigmented mascara that delivers instant volume and super saturated length for dramatically dark, stretched out lashes. So what caught my attention based on this, this description was the word coal. I never really heard of that term before, so I searched it up. It's a black powder, which is usually antimony sulfide or lead sulfide, used as in makeup, especially in Eastern countries. Um, apparently this ingredient is really popular in Africa and the Middle East. The thing is though, this ingredient, coal, it's actually proven to cause lead poisoning in small children in some of the researches that they've done. And it's not FDA approved. I think it's just a pigment that's really black and is similar in color to coal because the ingredient is not FDA approved. So there's no way they'll be able to sell this product on the market for so many years. I know this mascara has been one of the hot mascaras in the Bobbi Brown brand. This mascara is rated 4.4 out of five stars on Sephora, which is very, very high. And it's even higher than this mascara here. Um, just as a spoiler, in my previous video, I really enjoy using this mascara and was very surprised by how long it lasted. This one didn't have too high of a review. So that's just something to keep in mind. I already put the makeup on and all I'm left is the mascara. Um, that's how my lashes look without curling them. They are very straight and there's not too many of them. Same with the right side and yeah, so I'm gonna curl my lashes and then I'm gonna be applying the side with the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara and this side with the Bobbi Brown Smoky Eye Mascara. And let's see how it's going to work. Get every single piece in and I curl. I don't just press it once, I press it several times just so it stays there. And now it is curled on this side as well. Um, I think I need to get a new curler because sometimes I'm not able to get all of my lashes in. Both sides are curled. I'm going to go in and apply this mascara here. I have to be really careful in making sure I get those corners. Um, and also making sure the brush doesn't get in contact with my lids. Due to the smaller size of the wand, it is much easier to get into those hairs. Never mind. When I first applied the mascara, I thought it wouldn't be clumping together. But it is quite clumpy right now. And as you can tell, it is not as curly as the side. Lashes are kind of all over the place right now. Um, I don't have a brush to brush it out. Because I've never experienced something like this before. I'm gonna try to save it by kind of wiggling it back and forth, trying to brush it out a little bit. It is really clumpy. I like the feathery look of this side versus this. It just doesn't look that great. It looks like spider legs. You see? Spider, spider, itsy bitsy spider. See that? Oh my god. 
So I'm gonna curl these lashes again just to save them a little bit. My eyes look kind of weird right now because the lashes are all in different directions. Oh! Oh my god! Oh my gosh, that's why you should never do this. Several lashes came out. Okay, I give up. I can't save it anymore. <sighs> After 10 hours, just like the other wear tests, I'm gonna come back and share my final thoughts with you on these two mascaras. Hello, right now it's 6.03. It is 12 hours after I applied the mascara on this morning and I am here to give you a checkup. This is the eye where I put the Smoky Eye Mascara from Bobbi Brown and this is where I put the Urban Decay Per Virgin Mascara. Right off the bat, you probably notice that there is a lot more smudges on the bottom of this eye versus this eye. And if I close my eyes, you'll also see more smudges above my eyes here and not as much on this side. So overall, in terms of the smudges, this side has a lot more. So this wins. Urban Decay Provision wins. Let's talk about the curliness of the lashes. Looking at the Urban Decay Perversion side, the lashes are still pretty curly, and this is the exact result I got in the previous video when I was testing it out for the first time. For the Bobbi Brown side, I do still see some curls happening, but some of it has fallen down and pointing towards the camera instead of going up. So I'd say Urban Decay wins for this one as well. While I was applying the Bobbi Brown mascara, I noticed that it was clumping really badly. Um, this is contrary to what they say in their description, where they're saying how this mascara is different from the other mascaras because it creates a volumizing effect without clumping up the lashes, but it was exactly the opposite. And um, the shade of this mascara is darker, so right now it does seem like the left side is more prominent and of course the smudges also make it more prominent. So do I recommend you purchasing this product? The answer is a straight no. It's a pretty bad mascara. It doesn't keep my lashes curled. I don't feel that volumizing effect. It's causing a big mess on my lashes and it's clumping really badly for me. Number two is because for the price that you're paying, it's not worth it. This mascara, um, the one that claims for six milliliters, it's sold for $41. Whereas the um, Urban Decay one is sold for $33. So you see the difference here? I will rate this mascara a two out of 10. The two points go towards the fact that they used a really small applicator which was easy for me to reach the corners of my eyes and um, without getting the lids dirty for the urban decay perversion mascara i gave it a 7 out of 10 in my previous video but after trying it for a few times now i feel like it could be upgraded to a 7.5 out of 10. this is a really good mascara considering how it's not waterproof it's really good at keeping my my lashes curled and it causes minimal smudges. So I really like this mascara and I do recommend anyone out there who's interested in it to get the mini version and try out first. If you would like to see more videos like this, then click like and subscribe. Thanks.